Hello everybody, David here. This is a continuation of my other video where I attached this electric motor to the door in order to turn this doorknob by pulling on this string. Now all I've done is I've added the L298N H bridge right here. Uh, there's another video that I made about this little chip. Go ahead and check that out to find out more about how this works. And to control the H bridge is the Raspberry Pi 2. And I've actually got it running Windows 10 IoT Core as opposed to Raspbian. And that's just so that I can learn Windows 10 IoT Core <laughs> because I already know Linux, sort of. I don't know why you could know Linux, but. Anyway, there are just two wires here going from the GPIO pins over to the inputs on the motor controller. And then this other wire here is for grounding the two chips. Uh, then up here we have an LED, but that's not used in this project. So, I'm just going to run over to the computer. I've created a simple app in Visual Studio just to uh, run the motor and then run it in reverse. I'm going to go over there, hit the button, and we'll test this out. Okay. Alright. So you can see the motor is now tensioning the string, which is turning the doorknob. It's going to stop in a few seconds. And look, I can open the door. And the motor automatically reverses, so now the doorknob's going back down. And we'll just wait for that. There we go. Okay. So that app works. The next step is to add a web interface so that I can remotely start this process from my cell phone or tablet or laptop. Alrighty, we're back. So what I've done is that I've added some code to the Raspberry Pi and it now is serving this little uh, web page. I don't know whether you can see that. Uh, get, get it in focus. Yep, anyway, dorm room control center. Uh, that's what it is, and um, there's an option there I you could have seen. Um, it's called unlock the door, so let me just get the camera back in focus, and I'm going to hit that button right now, and there we go. The electric motor is now pulling on this doorknob. Oh, and by the way, I've incorporated the LED into the code. It now flashes when the door is in operation. Oh, look at that. The door is opened, and as before, the motor will automatically reverse, and the doorknob comes back down into its released position. And now I can close the door. Alrighty, so that's all for today. I may be adding a limit switch to this in the future to make it more accurate, but until next time, thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you guys in the next video.